Brendan, we're here on, I guess, September 19th, 919. Today a good day to uh, go out and earn pole position, I imagine, with your uh, lovely 919. Yeah, we, we know it's going to be tough. Uh, we think it's going to be pretty close at the top. Audi looked very strong this morning, um, but we didn't didn't put everything on the track. We had a small little issue that we're, we're, uh, the boys are working working hard at and uh, rectifying now. But yeah, I'm, I've been optimistic before we arrived here, and, and you know we've brought some good updates here. Obviously, the other guys haven't been sleeping. Toyota and Audi, have, I'm, I'm sure they they made some improvements as well. But no, I think we're in with a shot. In with a shot. You're in an interesting group of drivers. You've got Mark, who uh, did sports cars before his Formula One career took off. You've got Timo, Romain, who made a big career there. You're kind of young at this transition. You happy with this decision so far? Uh, absolutely. I think that's an obvious one. I'm mean, obviously extremely proud to be a member of the Porsche team and on their return to Le Mans after 16 years absent of you know, the top top tier of sports car racing and to, to pick me to, to be in the return. and. Yeah, I was honoured and um, even still I'm a bit surprised now and still pinching myself. It's, uh, it's been, been an incredible experience and obviously I led, I led Le, Mans, Le Mans 20 hour. Uh, sorry, I led Le Mans 24 hour. I mean, we didn't make it to the end, but I led the race as a factory, factory Porsche driver. So, yeah, I couldn't ask for too much more. As someone with a rather unique CV that says Daytona prototype driver and LMP1 hybrid driver, uh, maybe it's a bit of a crazy question, but is there any way to compare and contrast the differences between those two? I mean, the DP is maybe more analog, this is a little more digital? Um, obviously, we're, it's a bit more advanced uh, with the 919. It's by far the most complex car Porsche have ever built, probably the most complex race car on, on, the, on the earth with, um, with the hybrid technology that we use. Um, so, but I don't know, I look at racing in a pretty sim simplistic view and the car has four wheels. In this case we have two engines rather than, rather than one, but the fundamentals of making a car go around the track as quick as possible, they don't change too much. Yes, we have four-wheel drive on, on the exit of the corners, which, which changes a little bit, but as a racing driver, the technique that you use to get around the track as quick as possible doesn't change too much. As a driver, how educational has this season been with the 919 uh, energy harvesting, having to be smart each lap with your fuel usage, compared to what you did before, or formulas you've done before, where it's basically maximum attack? Not that you aren't pushing here, but what have you had to learn to adapt and get the most out of this car? I mean, obviously we're learning every single time um, we go out on the track, and still, I would still say it's early days in terms of the development of this car and, and, and the project. But from a driver's point of view, it's it's not like what everyone's thinking that we're saving fuel and you know we're, we're pushing you know we're getting this car around the track as quick as we can with the energy that we that we have available um, so yes we have a little bit of uh, we call it sailing at the end of the straight lines where we lift off and save a bit of fuel but still it doesn't change that we're braking as late as possible and we're, we're trying to get around the track as quick as, quick as possible you know that, that part doesn't change you know um, and and actually Porsche have made the whole system very intuitive so it, it, it becomes quite natural and, and it's uh, Actually, we, we've all, I mean, we all loved it straight away, having, having four-wheel drive and electric engine sitting by, by our feet. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we're aware of it, but in, in normally it's, it's a fantastic tool that we have to play with, which we all love. Last question. What is the sensation like coming down the hill from turn one and shooting through the S's in a car like this that is light, powerful? I mean, I have to imagine inside the car you're you're holding on as tight as you can because uh, it seems to be rocket fast. Yeah, we're hustling through there. I mean, the cars have got good downforce. We've brought more downforce to this race, and it's a great first sector of this track. I'm, I'm a big fan of this place, actually, and, and uh, the first sector has to be the highlight. Like you say, driving this car, very light, good downforce. We're, uh, yeah, we're hustling through there.